welcome again to our Lent series. It is day 26, the fourth Sunday of Lent. And we are almost there. Our reflection today is about the name and significance of this Sunday. Traditionally, this fourth Sunday of Lent is called Laetale Sunday. It is called so following the first word of the opening and fall. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, and all who love her. Be joyful, all who are mourning. Exult and be satisfied at her consoling breast. This sad phone is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 10. Laetare is a Latin word which means rejoice. And therefore, this Sunday is a Sunday of joy. It marks the half of the Lenten season. Though strictly speaking, the half of the Lenten season is on Thursday of the third Sunday of Lent. And Easter is enticingly near. The vestments worn by the celebrant are rose-colored, not the traditional purple. This Sunday is also important because it is the day of the second scrutiny in preparation for the baptism of adults at the Easter Vigil. And thus, this reminds us of the renewal and remembrance of our baptismal promises so that we should walk in the light of Christ, which we are to behold on the Easter Sunday. Laetale Sunday is usually paralleled to Gaudete Sunday, which is the third Sunday of Advent. The joy of this Sunday is a symbol of life, which means that amidst all sadness in life, there is always some joy. Most of the joy of this Sunday is an anticipation of the joy we shall have at the receiving of the light of Christ at Easter. Our invitation today is not to give up our Lenten preparations as though we have already reached, though we are celebrating the sound of joy, but it is to fasten the birds more, to do more of what Lenten period requires of us if we have not been doing them, and to prepare thoroughly for the light of Christ at Easter so that we shall no longer walk in darkness, but only in the light of Christ. May the celebration and the joy of Laetale Sunday fill you with the eager anticipation of the fullness of joy on Easter Sunday. Be blessed. <music>